Hey, Coach Colin Castell here with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and welcome to another edition of NBA Shooting Secrets. This time, it's Kawhi Leonard. Now, Kawhi's gotten better every single year, and so is his shooting mechanics, but I truly believe that this is going to be the year that he absolutely explodes, and his shooting is going to be a major reason because of it. Now, when I watch Kawhi shoot, he reminds me a ton of Michael Jordan after he optimized his shooting mechanics. So I'm really, really excited about the stuff that he's been doing. So as we're going through the things that I like in his jumper, think about if you can add them to your jump shot, and they very well may increase your shooting percentage as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so one of the very first things that I noticed when doing this research is that Kawhi Leonard has an awesome mid-range game. Now, a mid-range game is really, really important to develop, especially if you want to be an elite score. And that's something that I think Kawhi is going to be able to do this next year. Now, as we watch these clips, how many catch-and-shoot situations is Kawhi getting from 15 feet? Not very many, right? They're pretty much all off of the dribble and off of his own creation. If you want to make sure that when you're training, you're not just practicing off of a catch-and-shoot 15-footer. You're very rarely going to get those. Instead, you want to work on getting separation with your own dribble, pullbacks, stepbacks, whatever you got to do to get away from the defender to hit that mid-range shot. So although talking about his mid-range isn't a specific shooting mechanic, it is really, really important to train it the right way. That way you can score more points in-game. All right, next, let's talk about his feet sweep or how far forward his feet come as he lands. Now, most great shooters sweep their feet forward as they shoot, and they don't land in the exact same spot. Now, while Kawhi doesn't sweep his feet as far forward as a lot of great shooters, they still come forward a little bit. Most of the time when Kawhi shoots, if he's on the three-point line, one foot lands inside the three-point line, and one foot lands on the three-point line. Now, most good shooters will land with both feet inside the three-point line, but sometimes just a little bit of a sweep is all you need. So work on letting your legs drift forward slightly and see if that improves your shooting rhythm and your shooting range. Odds are that it probably will. All right, next, let's talk about the angle of Kawhi Leonard's body when he shoots. Now, a lot of shooters drift backwards a little bit with their shoulders, but Kawhi stays pretty darn straight up and down. Now, this can create a lot of upper body tension and maybe one reason why Kawhi looks a little bit stiff when he shoots sometimes, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to affect him, so it's not necessarily something that he should worry about. Now, this is a classic example of how everybody's shooting mechanics aren't going to be the exact same. Other great shooters that shoot with a really straight body come to mind, guys like Ray Allen. So it's really not that big of a deal if it's not causing you to miss. So I would suggest videotape yourself shooting, and that way you can take a look at the angle of your body and see if your shoulders seem a little bit too tense and if it's something that you should change in the future. All right, don't forget, if you want to see somebody's shooting secrets, go ahead and pop that like button, and then head to the comment section down below and leave a comment and let me know whose jumper you want to see broken down next. This is a channel for the people, by the people, and I run everything off of requests. If you're new to Shot Mechanics, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. That way you get all of our videos as soon as they come out. We put out more content than pretty much anybody else out there, and so you're going to miss a lot of stuff if you're not subscribed, so I highly recommend doing that. You're also going to want to click the annotation above, or for mobile viewers, the link in the description, get a free copy of my favorite scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that will absolutely increase your scoring average the very first time you use it, and it's one that I use with pretty much all of my players at some point in time, so you're going to want to check that out, and it's 100% free. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, splash on.